Let's now solve some questions on this section. Which of the following metrics would be most useful to monitor during test execution? Percentage of executed test cases, percentage of work done in test environment preparation, percentage of planned test cases prepared, percentage of work done in test case preparation. Here he is talking about test execution. And in order to solve this question correctly, I need to understand the test process. I execute the test cases, of course, in the execution phase. So percentage of executed test cases is monitored during test execution. But test environment, for example, we said that it is prepared in test implementation. Preparing test cases is done in test design while we write test cases and so on. Which of the following is not included in the test summary report? Like we said, the test summary report is written at the end of a test activity. Defining pass fail criteria and objectives of testing, this is not included in test summary report. Why? Because I define the pass fail criteria and the objectives of testing in my test plan at the beginning of the project, not at the end. Deviations from the test approach. Measurements of actual progress against exit criteria, evaluation of the quality of the test item, these three items are considered as part of test summary report. Which of the following variances should be explained in the test summary report? The variances are the differences between what and what. In the test summary report, I need to know the variance or the difference between the planned testing and the actual testing, the planned progress and the actual progress which means that the variance is between what was planned for testing and what was actually tested.